All right, welcome back everyone to episode 10 of Seft. Jesus. What a way to start an episode. Welcome back to Sev Tech Ages. We are back playing again. It has been some time since I last recorded. I do record a lot up front, have a backlog, and uh, I've been getting those out. So I think episode nine, yeah, was the last one that I uh, had pre recorded. So once that goes up, um, obviously we'll be moving on to the new day. Today is uh, December 26th of 2019. And it is the day after Christmas, if you haven't figured that out. So, for those of you who do celebrate Christmas, Merry Late Christmas. I hope you enjoyed it, had a good time with your family, friends, hopefully lots of good gifts, hopefully everything that you wanted. Um, if you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays. I'm sure you're getting a lot of good deals on uh, on a lot of items that you want right now. So, uh, so yeah. Um, it's actually surprisingly nice out where I live. Typically, it's uh, snowy and cold right now, uh, this time of year, where I live at, but uh, it's been quite nice to us. And uh, what is it? Today, it's... Well, right now, my... Uh, what my phone is saying? My phone is saying it's 59 degrees outside and sunny, and that never happens here in December. So, let me turn my volume down a little bit here. Just my microphone a little bit. It did get bumped a little here. Okay, so we're hopping back into it. Um, not wasting too much time. It's going to take me a minute to get back in the groove because it's been a while. And I honestly, I probably should have watched my last episode to figure out what we wanted to do this episode. Um, but I guess we can take a look at our achievement listing and see what we got. I think, I think this is the way we wanted to go was to get this stuff done because we needed to do the flame grilled goodness next. However, to get that, okay, let's go, there we go. Yeah, we needed to do, what did we need? What was it specifically? Because we got the shadow gem, we got that. We have the shark tooth, maybe we don't need anything. The charcoal dust, maybe that's what it was. Unless we have that. We have the charcoal. Our inventory is effed. Like, holy crap. So we have the charcoal. To get to charcoal dust, we need a millstone. And that was part of our thing, right? That's a grindstone. The millstone, yeah. To get all the way down there for that. So realistically... I mean, we probably could go this way. Get the saddle, make the wheel, carriage, gears, and then we get the mill. Yeah, I think that's the <clears throat> that's the plan. So we were probably hitting the wrong button. We were probably on the path to making leather. We do have five, but I think for a saddle we probably need more, right? Oh, we only need three. Ah, yes, it's coming back to me. We need this leather cordage, which is these leather strips. And we need the flint work blade. We'll get nine, so we can easily do that. My inventory is just ferocious right now. So maybe first thing we need to do is do a little clean up. Get some stuff tucked away here. So I think we can... What do I have on right now? I'll wait till that breaks, <clears throat> then I'll put that on. Get rid of that. Clean up a little bit. We have so much food on us, too. Oh, we have raw mutton. Let's throw this on the bobby. Sheep pelt, wolf pelt. We have that. That's for progressing. We can probably stick this boy away. All right, just put it right there. Oh, we already have the leather strips. Okay, so we are on the right path already. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this rotten flesh. I'm sure there's something you can do with it um, that's useful. But uh, for now, I'm not going to bother with it. Let's get that sorted. Get that out of my inventory. We do have the dried hide. I honestly forget what. So dried, the resin, and then that. I don't think we have any resin. Yeah, we don't have any resin. We do have white fleece and hemp. Okay, let's just get rid of this. 
don't think we need those right now. Oh, we needed hemp. Oh, that's what we were doing. <sighs> uh, now I remember we needed string and that's why we had the, the cotton or the hemp or whatever. Because we realized that we could get string from it. We don't have string. Yeah, if we take cotton with that, it'll give us one string. Or fleece, it'll give us four. Okay, we gotta go back over and kill some sheep here. It's all coming back to me now. This is what happens when you bulk record. And I have been paying attention to the comments. Shout out to, uh, to one person in the comments. You know who you are. Um, but yeah, appreciate you watching and leaving comments. Providing your feedback. Um, I do not live stream these. I'm just playing at my leisure. I do edit them down sometimes, but not all the time. So. Do we, do we not get? Oh, we did. Okay. That blends in so good to that. That's not cool. Um, but yeah, I just play at my leisure. You know, it's just a hobby. So I'm just having fun. Uh, I do try to edit where I can, do a little jump here or there. I think in my more recent episodes, I've been getting better at doing that. Whereas earlier on, it, I didn't do it as much. But now I will pause and get to things and then come back and, you know, do all that fun stuff. So, uh, but anyway, we are back here. Let's get those two on the bobby. We actually do need to eat. So, does not mix. What are those? Cooked mutton. Cooked a mystery meat. I didn't think we were close enough to hit that chest. Okay, that should be fine. And that will, uh, yeah. So we needed this with this to get our string. Perfect. And then we needed to take those with those. And we need to make three, right? Give us that. So. And then a string in the middle. All right, one, two, three, Put one in the middle like so. And then just one more. Come on, there we go. And perfect. Cool, so we got all three of the leather strips. Wait, no, 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 leather, leather cord. Oh. I was looking at the wrong thing. I almost had a heart attack. I was like, did I make the wrong thing? Okay, then we just need to do that, which is easy enough. So we do one, two, three leather across like so. The cordage on the bottom, we take our hitting stone. And don't set, don't settle for anything less. All right, so we got that one. Um, and we can use that, we can tame a horse, and we could travel on a horse if we wanted to. Um, but for now, I'm not going to, not gonna worry about it. We will try to tame a horse maybe in a different episode. I need to like dig into it a little more and understand the best route to go with it. We really should make another chest to dump all of our garbage into. Will I though? Probably not. All right, we're doing a wheel next. Holy crap, I can't spell, there we go. That is, without a doubt, the easiest recipe ever. But we need our sticks, which I put all of our sticks away. We need our hitting rock over here, grab that boy. So, it is just all on the outside like so. And boom. The wheels on the bus. So, the wheels on the bus, I did not read this, so I'll, let me read through it real quick so you all know what is going on. So we needed to craft a wheel from, oof, from a mod, <laughs> at Asticor, maybe, to use on horse carts. The action key to attach horses to carts. Okay, we're really getting into the, uh, horse and buggy age here but I'm not like I don't know I'm not super into doing like the horse and buggy stuff maybe we'll get everything together and then kind of just uh, have a dedicated episode to it where we make like the carriage and everything 
um, and so on and so forth. So the next one we can do is the gear. We need buffalo teeth for that. How many do we need? Four? Four buffalo teeth. I don't know if I have any, do I? That's a shark tooth, right? Yep. This is flaked bone. Oh, I have three buffalo teeth. That was the other thing too, now that I'm remembering. I wanted to get a farm going. That away. So much to do. Move this down here. What else can I stick away for now? Maybe the hopper, stick that away for now. I should make another chest. I really should just do it. Easy enough to do. We have the materials for it. Let's just make it real quick so I can stick some stuff away. Where is our hitting rock? That off of here. Okay, cool. Got another chest. Put that boy right there. Let's get some stuff put away. I don't think I'm too close to the fire here. I think it should be fine. But you know, with my luck, it probably is too close and I'm screwed. We got some more leather we can put away. What else can we stick in there? The cooked mutton. We, we have plenty of food on us. I don't know if we need to necessarily have... that on us we can stick this away this is um unintentionally becoming the leather chest the leather and meat chest oh and it's raining we do have some bones in this one perfect and we did not have string anywhere else so i'll stick it in that bad boy cool that cleared out our inventory a decent amount it is raining though. Oh, we do have that. I think I crafted enough stone. Those boys are filling up perfectly. I did want to breed my buffalo before I kill any of them though. And I do not have any, uh... Holy smokes, I forget how big these boys were. Because we got four of them. If I need to kill one, I'd like to at least have another baby or two sitting around. So I think we need to venture back out and grab some wheat. That's another thing I need to... I really should just have a list on my, my work desk here of things that I need to do in this. Take a quick to the water here. Because the amount of things that I know I'm, I forget is... Unacceptable. <laughs> Let's put those down there. I mean, seriously, I logged back in and I'm like, what were we doing? I kind of figured it out and then I ended up getting rid of the materials that we, we needed. We had gone out at the end of the last episode and gotten specifically for that, uh, our next thing that we were going to do. So I really should just have a list. It'd make things so much easier. Oh, stupid freaking skeleton. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. I'll help. Got him. Oh my gosh. Alright, got him. Is this one boy left? Ooh, got lightning and thunder. Alright, grab some wheat. It's nice that it, uh, comes back on its own. Like, I don't have to replant the seeds or anything. Okay, hit the wrong button. We got another guy coming our way. Okay. Oh, sick, we got another bone. Good to have. Unfortunately, we cannot back yet. Oh, no, 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 no. 
We can't go back until we get another piece of wheat because we need to breed them. So we at the very least need two pieces of wheat. Someone following us? A creeper, of course. Why would it be anything else? It'd be like a pony. But yeah, I think a list actually probably would do me justice. I'm also going to try not to pre-record too much stuff going forward. Oh, I'm holding the wheat. I'm like, why are these sheep following me? It's because I'm holding the wheat. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try not to pre-record too far ahead. For this series, as I was mentioning before, I recorded a fair amount in ahead. Oh, we do have some bones. Train a good doggo. A good boyo. I don't have any meat, though. I have cooked stuff. Buffalo meat is really good, though. Alright. We'll, we'll, we'll consider you later. Maybe we'll come back for you guys. But, um... I mean, it's very easy for me to record pretty far in advance. Because then, uh, you know, I just sit down and have a nice long recording session. Basically knock out several episodes and then can kick back and, you know, not have to worry about putting up an episode during my, uh, my typical schedule. But, uh, you know, obviously then, you know, if I get comments and stuff like that, then I'm not seeing them for, or well, I'll see them. I see all your comments right away, but, uh, obviously I won't be able to act on them until later down the line. <laughs> Any more wheat sitting out here? There's a creeper over there. Oh, there's a villager. Villager zombie. Oh my god, they're going so fast. Oh, we're getting hit from behind. I don't know if our... Uh, we just need to get out of here. This is a bad spot to be in. Your spider. Oh, what the hell? I always run into like a flower or something like that, and it uh obviously hurts me. And then I never know which flower it is, and then I keep running into the same ones over and over again. So. Alright, you know what? Uh, I'm going to get back. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to get back to the base and um, I'll catch you guys when we get back there. Alright, we are back at the base and um, I already breeded one of them or two of them together. There's a little baby kind of just being pushed together. I should have made a bigger space for this, but... You know, it is what it is. Um, let's also get some food here. We do have cooked buffalo meat, which is, looks amazing. It's kind of making me hungry. But, um, yeah, there should be a baby back here somewhere. I don't know if I can see him. I just want to double check before we start, you know, killing people. Yep, there's a little baby right here. So we should be good. I mean, realistically, we can go... You know, we could kill more than... As long as we kept two. Like, we could kill more, and as long as we had two left, it would be fine. But, um, you know, I don't want to necessarily do that, so. Oh, my lance. I did not want to hit all of them. Alright, let me just try to get this boy by himself. Okay. It's going to be a pain. I did this to myself, though. Alright, let's. Can we move out of here? I need this boy back here. Okay, okay, he running, he running, he running. Oh, Hit all five of them. Come on. Okay, cool, we got him. I swear to God, if we did not get a, uh, yes, we got a buffalo tooth. That's all we needed from that. Please be gone. All right. Out we go. Got what we needed. 
Um, so we got five buffalo teeth. Because we were trying to make the gear, right? Was that what we were doing? Gear, and we needed teeth, and then the wood. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's put this away. We got our teeth. And then we should have, <clears throat> yeah, we got our wood on us. Put that away. We do have some bones that we can stick in here. And then it was, what? That, and then, where did our teeth go? I thought I just had them. There they are. Teeth, 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 and tooth. Get our knocking rock. Right? I thought that's what it was. Am I mistaken? Oh, we need the red cedar plank. We can't just use normal wood. <clears throat> Make it so complicated. Pretty positive we have some in here, right? Yep, we do. So we only need four. I think that would do it. Let's just bump over to this. That give us four. Perfect. Okay, we can come back over here. Boom, boom, boom. And then... Perfect. And we got our gear, our wooden gear, geared up for ratios. Got that one done. We can do the cart. Obviously, we have that whole line there. Now we could do... <laughs> of course. So, uh, it's... Quit milling around is the next uh, achievement for us to get our millstone. And this is what it reads for those of you who aren't watching. Uh, it's miller time, of course. Craft a millstone from better with mods. So um, that's what we're doing. We gotta get a millstone. So we need our grindstone and then we have all of that and then we need our stone slab, which is just like that. And we pretty much, I think, have everything we need. Ooh, we do have the raw buffalo meat. Let me throw that on the bobby. Um, and we're just going to take this boy. So first of all, let's get our knocking stone here. We're going to put three normal stone across to make some slabs. And then I'm going to put it here. So it goes stone slab at the top, normal stone all around, and then the grindstone in the middle. So we have our grindstone put it there, and then we put our normal cooked stone, cooked cobblestone, <clears throat> to make real stone. And there we go. Quit milling around. Perfect. Okay, so we can plop this bad boy down right here. And then... I. Use hand crank. So yeah, we need the hand crank. Which is the next thing. So it's a good thing we made the wooden gear. Because we're going to have to make the hand crank as well. So. I we do have most everything for that. I hit the wrong button a zillion times. That, that cobblestone. Do we have cobblestone? Do we not have any cobblestone? We do. We have a few. How much do we need? Two? Two. Cool. Ooh, we could use dark, but I don't think it makes a It doesn't aesthetically make a difference. So, it's not worth it to use the dark because it's going to look the same regardless. I mean, unless you have the dark on you. If that's all you got, then go for it. But Alright, so gear. Two cobblestone like so. Two sticks. We need our hitting stone. And we got our hand crank. So I think we just put this on top, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe. Maybe shift. Ah, uh, yes. That is, that is what we need to do. Oh, my Atlanta. That's so freaking loud. Okay. Let's try this out. So now, if we're correct... We were making the flame boy, right? Yeah, this is the next thing. 
we have pretty much everything. We need to get some more planks going, but that's okay. So we need, it's a one to one. So we'll have to put two in. That's not too bad. The most, the loudest thing ever invented. Oh, okay, it just kind of kicks it on the ground for you, that's nice. Did we break it? I felt like something just flew at us. Ah, okay. Oof, okay, we gotta be careful. This thing could fling over the side there. I'm sorry for those of you if you're wearing headphones, if that was astronomically loud. Um, yeah, nothing I can do about it. I could have turned the volume down, but it's okay. Alright, we got that. Um, let's take this off our inventory for now. Do we need any sticks for this? No. We do need this. We need a shark tooth. And our hopper. Okay, we don't have any shark teeth on us. I know we have them. And then our hooper. Cool. So, let's see what we got here. Two at the top, okay. Boom, boom, just like so. That like that. Okay. Two coal dust on the outside, a shark tooth in the middle, and our hopper on the bottom. Get our hidden stone. Perfect. Flame grilled whopper. <laughs> hopper, I thought it said, oh it does say whopper. Oh my god, of course. Uh, place under clay kiln or stone grill works as a fire source for basic automation. Don't understand how, like, so do I need to light it on fire though? Or does it work the same? That's my question. Because I don't really want to put that out. Well, we could take this. We could grab this. Okay, we'll do that. Let's just stick this boy here. Ah, uh, I tried. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Okay, that's not what this is not what I wanted. Why are you in there? Oh my god. Okay, that and then shift on top. So then if we cook something, I guess, can we, I don't know if we can cook this. We do have eggs, we could cook some eggs. Oh, it did, okay. Then it took it, and I'm guessing it's in there. Yeah, it's in there. And we got what? Tallow, what the hell is that? Do we lose our, oh no, it's there. Okay, that's pretty sick. So we could use this for automation. We don't have like any pipes or anything like that. I, I don't, I mean, I guess we could stick it on here, but, um, and like have it go to a chest next to it. Uh, I mean, our chest is, uh, I get what they're trying to do. Okay, let's, let's grab this boy. Well, I don't need... I'm conflicted. So if I put this down, I'd put another chest next to it. And I mean, it would filter all my food into there. But I mean, regardless, I'm going to be picking up the food anyway. So what does it matter right now? So, um, and unfortunately, we just kind of screwed the pooch on that one. Two of those. I always forget how to do these. That one there. Give me that one. Cool. Give me that back. Give me a piece of dirt. Not dirt. There we go. Piece of dirt. And there we go. Cool. Yeah, I'm fine with it being like that for now. 
Okay, cool. So the next is Ace of Melter Base. So that's the next um, item. Um, I'm going to take a quick look into it and then I will be right back with you guys. All right, we're back. So I did some digging to make sure I understood what we were doing next. Um, let me read through what the next achievement is for us. So it, like I said before, Ace of Melter Base. So you don't have liquid fuel, so try solid ones. Craft a heater to get started. Note you'll need to match the melter and heater types for them to work together. <clears throat> Excuse me. Porcelain will not match the seared version. So, take a sip of water here. If we go into into our inventory, we go over and look at our recipes. So there's two options. We have the seared heater and melter, or we have the porcelain ones. Now, looking at the seared, you do need to make seared bricks, which requires you to go this path I don't even know um, I mean they, they give you a good option it's it's kind of a lot so you would have to make grout by combining sand clay and then gravel to get grout and then from grout you would take the grout put it in the clay kiln and it would make a seared brick and then from that seared brick So yeah, you'll take the seared bricks once you get them, and you'll need four to make, well, so it's like, it's weird. They call them seared bricks, but then they're seared bricks, like, I don't know, a seared brick and then seared bricks. So you take four of them, you make the big boy of it, basically, and then with that big boy, you'll need six in this recipe, six in this one, so 12 all together to make um, the heater and the smelter. I feel like that's a bit much work on this side so I think the best path to go and I, I honestly don't know if there's any excuse me if there's any differences between the two like if it's better to go one route over the other because you do have tinkers construct on one hand uh, and then tinkers complement on the other hand so <clears throat> the seared brick one is tinkers construct base base tinkers construct um, it does take a lot of components, a lot of melt, uh, smelting and all that miscellaneous stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to go that path. Same exact recipe, but instead of uh, seared bricks, it'll be porcelain. So this is the way I'm thinking to go. And this is from Tinker's Complement. So I'm assuming that it's an add-on mod to Tinker's. And instead of using the seared bricks, you use a porcelain brick. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here. Let me take some uh, sips of water. All right, hopefully that helps. So with the porcelain, and we'll have to make two of both of these, the melter and the, the heater. And all in all, you will need 12, three, three, six, yeah, nine, 12. So the porcelain bricks, I feel like are a lot easier to make. So to make one brick, you need one unfired porcelain from ceramics. And you put that in a kiln, and it cooks up. So you'll need 12 of the unfired porcelain. To make unfired porcelain, you need flint, clay, and then white dye powder in a millstone, and it'll make one porcelain, unfired porcelain. So realistically, we need 12 flint, 12 clay, and 12 white dye powder. The white dye powder comes from all these other options here. The one that I thought would be best to use is uh, bone meal because we need 12, right? 12 um, of the white dye powder. We get bone meal, one bone in a millstone will get us six bone meal. And then if one bone meal gets us two white dye powder, that'll just get us the 12 right then and there. So I went through my inventory. I know that was a lot. So if you have questions on this part of any of the mods, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. We can run through them obviously but uh it's pretty straightforward once you start looking at the recipes um but i looked through my inventory i had nine flint nine clay i had a ton of bones and uh we only need one so we're gonna get that going 
Um, it's so loud. Yeah, so we're gonna get this going so we get our bone meal. I don't know if, you know, I didn't even look if we had any bone meal laying around. But that gives us our six. And then if we throw that in there, <clears throat> you know what I'm gonna do? Options, sound. Turn that down. Can we just turn this down maybe a little bit? Like maybe 85 would be nice. So that's a little bit kinder on your ears. But uh, yeah, so the only thing that we'll have to go out hunting for is more uh, flint and then more clay, which is perfectly fine. But honestly, I don't remember where I get clay from. I don't know. I think I just need to find uh, how it is in like the typical vanilla. You find clay blocks and then you break the clay blocks. And I realized after, oh yeah, we're too exhausted to turn. I realized that this thing takes so much energy out of you. It's insane. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I should have said this earlier, I'm going to get these going, get all the materials together, try to get some flint, try to get some more clay, and then come back, get the unfired porcelain going, and then um, yeah, we're just going to go from there and try to get all the porcelain together. So hopefully it won't take too much time and we can uh, wrap up the episode pretty shortly. I don't know if we'll get the, the um, actual heater and melter today. Um, just because there were other items we needed for it, like chests and stuff like that. And um, we don't have that on us as of right now. Uh, but uh, we'll just play it by ear. We'll see how far we get. So we got all of that, those goodies. So I will uh, try to hunt down some more items and I will be right back. All right, guys, we are back. And I have gone ahead and made everything we need for the melter and the heater. So I made all the porcelain, didn't actually need that much more. Um, I had to get a little more clay though because I did need to make these bad boys, these clay barrel extensions. Um, and basically all these are, I'll show you real quick, are these unfired clay barrel extensions. You make these first, so you need six clay, just like that, it'll get you two. And that's all you need is two. And then you fire those in the kiln and you got what you need. go back to here so what we have lined up right now is this so I made all the porcelain like I said cooked it all up it took a while um, but yeah I got it all cooked up made two stone grills because we'll need two stone grills I made those clay barrels that I just showed you and then I made this advanced primal chest and then I grabbed our whooper as well so excuse me I have the first one laid out here in the crafting table, so we're just gonna get this making, and bada boom, we got our melter. The next one in line is the heater, so we just go like that, I believe that's in the bottom, just like so, grab our hitting stone, and bada bing, bada boom. Did we just break everything? Oh, welcome to age one. Let's go, boys. I hope you all hear me clapping. I'm clapping for myself. I hope it wasn't too loud. <laughs> awesome. So we can still see all of the achievements here and we can get through all of this. But now we have age one. Look at all this stuff we can get into. Oh, yes, that's that's the next. Oh, yes, ores are going to be available that we can see now. Oh, thank the Lord. We are on the right path. So we got both of those made. Let's take a quick peek, though, at what we need to, uh, how do we match this up? So the heater goes below it, which is our heater. So this is our heater. Um, where's a good place for this? I guess we could move this bad boy. Or we could move our drying racks, honestly. Honestly. 
Oh, do they, they float? I guess they float there. Oh, my lanta. Okay, where's our axe? Grab our axe here. Let's take a peek. We can always set these uh, drying racks up somewhere else. So we need the heater first. Um, I'll give it a little bit of space, maybe. I'll put it like right here. And then the melter goes on top. I guess shift click it on click clip did it. Shift click on top. So we have our heater down here. I'm guessing we could put some charcoal in there. And then up top, I'm guessing we put our ores once we find them. So the whole entire world lagged. So I'm guessing we can see ores now. Because that was something I was thinking about before is you don't actually see any ores when you're going through the world. But I wonder if they um, now show even though like we've already generated this area or we have to go to a new area to see the ores. So it'll be kind of interesting. I'm not seeing any and it might be something I just need to look up online to just see. Because that would be a bit of a bummer if we don't, if we're not able to uh, see them. Uh, but obviously we can't use the smelter or anything until we have ores. So we'll have to get those going. And that's awesome. So we got through all of that. There's still some stuff that we can do. So like the horse powered grindstone and things like that. We could definitely get some horses in here and we do have the spooky boss battle that we could still do. Um, but I'm not gonna worry too much on them. This is gonna be our next step, age one. I'm super excited for it. It's gonna be so cool. We got aqueducts. Um, ooh, a stirring pot. Looks like we can get maybe into some cooking, which would be good, like more cooking. Uh, oh, moving liquids. That's perfect. Like, uh, ores and stuff like that. Can upgrade chests, get an actual furnace going. Oof, making a leaf bed. This place, this looks cool. Alloy kiln. Ooh, okay. I'm liking this. There's so much cool stuff. And then, uh, farming stuff too. <laughs> Anvil Levine. Okay. That's, that's pretty funny. You got me on that one. Welcome to the next age. Box previously hidden will now become visible, such as ore, samples, and others, which is awesome. Well, boys, we made it. Um, I am a little bit curious, though, on the ores, because you would think if they're now visible, like you'd be able to see them. Maybe I took too long, and maybe they're anticipating that you're going to move somewhere else, which would be a bit of a bummer. Um, like, if that was the case... I was thinking we could just dig in there and look. Where else could we go? We could go, oh, let's go this way. Um, let's traverse over into the meadows. There's meadows not too far from here and they had um, some exposed areas. Let's sleep through this night though. <laughs> they had some exposed rock areas that might have more ores to them now. And I'm quite curious if that is the case, if they show that way or if we have to find unloaded chunks that actually will have ores in it. Because the, technically the world has already been generated over here. Like everything thus far that we've explored, the world has been generated. I was kind of hoping that since the world lagged so bad for a second there when we hit the new age, that it would generate into the current areas. But I... I'm having a bad feeling that it's not going to and that we're going to have to travel to to new um, load in some new chunks of the land to get ores, which would be kind of a bummer if that is the case. So uh, let's just go over there. I'm trying to keep an eye out on those mountains over there. Oh, on those mountains over there because uh, They obviously could have some goodies too, like that populated in. This looks decent. We could take a peek in here. I don't have any torches on me though, which is uh, unfortunate. Oh, there's some skeletons down there. Okay, we're not going down there. We do have those doggos over here. Yeah, I'd be really bummed if we uh, would have to completely relocate. And that might be the case. Maybe that is what we need to do. Maybe that's why they have you do like the whole um caravan making basically the the horse and buggy to move everything here we are this is what i was talking about if we just jump down in here and just do a quick quick <laughs> quick if we do a quick run around i'm not really seeing anything 
This opens out into here. I think any ores. There's a zombie in there. Oh, there's a creeper. Be gone. Yeah, I'm not seeing any ores. So I'm I'm gonna have to do some research on that one and just double check. Um, if that is the case and we have to abandon our everything we've set up thus far, I'd be kind of bummed out. Um, but you know, I I I get it. So um, we will. I'll like I said, I'll I'll do some research on that and we'll find out in the next episode <clears throat> on what the uh, what our plan is moving forward. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, I'm gonna end the episode there. 45 minutes. I think that's plenty of time. Uh, keeping it a little short and sweet, trying to skip through some of the boring stuff. So I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you feel in the comments down below. Oh, we got a chicken from that egg. I didn't think you could actually get chickens. Well, learned something new right at the end there. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. Better yet, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking on this series or this episode specifically. If you want to see anything, uh, just let me know. But other than that, guys, thank you for sticking through till the end. I will catch you all in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.